Usually, case reports are pretty boring. X people get sick with Y disease, here are their symptoms, end of story. But occasionally, you get a little bit of narrative flair. And that's what's happening with this outbreak of trichinella cases that happened back in 2022. We're just now getting the case report in 2024, and it's quite the story. But first, what is trichinosis? Trichinosis is caused by trichinella, an intracellular parasitic worm. Trichinosis is also extremely rare in the United States. But don't worry, there's not a sudden outbreak going on because of this handful of cases. You won't get sick unless you you did what these people did. So back in 2022, nine family members from across the United States are getting together for a family reunion in South Dakota. As part of the celebration, one of the family members traveled to northern Saskatchewan in Canada to hunt a black bear. The family member didn't do this by themselves, they did this with the assistance of a hunting outfitter or a hunting guide, and the hunting guide advised them that after hunting the black bear, since they were going to consume it, to freeze the meat. This is so that you can kill any parasites or any pathogens within the meat. And to the family's credit, they did follow this instruction. They froze the meat for 45 full days before the family reunion. Also a little disclaimer about the whole bear meat thing. Not personally my taste, though I might not turn it down if I was offered some, but it's perfectly legal to hunt bears in Canada. They did everything correct. So now it's reunion time and they cook the bear meat along with some vegetables and everyone digs in once it's done cooking. But very quickly they realize it's still raw because the meat is such a dark color. I don't know if you've ever seen bear meat, but it's decently dark. They thought it was done, it wasn't, so they toss it back in the oven. La-di-da, they cook the meat thoroughly, they eat the rest of it, and they go on their merry way. Family reunion, over. But a week after the reunion, one of the attendees starts getting sick. He's got a wide array of symptoms, but two key ones are that he has severe muscle pain and he has swelling around his eye. These are classic trichinella symptoms combined with the fact that he ate bear meat a week ago. CDC jumps on it and confirms he has trichinella. They track down the rest of the family members and they test them for trichinella. Six of the eight people that they tested ended up being positive for trichinella infections, including people who didn't eat the bear meat. They just ate the vegetables. So how did all these people get sick if they froze the meat long before they cooked it and some of them didn't even eat the meat after it was cooked? Well, trichinella is a genus, and in that genus are multiple different species, some of which we know now are freeze resistant. That means a typical household freezer is not going to kill the parasite. One of those species, Trichinella nativa, was found in the bear meat. So coupled with the fact that it wasn't cooked all the way through, they ate meat that had live Trichinella nativa in it. Well, what about those people who didn't eat the bear meat but still got Trichinella? Did they get it from being around them? No, they got it from the vegetables. If you use the same knife, the same cutting board, the same surfaces, the same hands, when preparing meat and vegetables, you are risking exposing yourself to pathogens in that raw meat. All the people involved have recovered. Some of them had to be hospitalized, but this does shine a light on the fact that we need to be more conscious about how we are preparing our meat and vegetables. 